This is a layout of a bay of a gas-insulated substation. From here up to here is one gas-tight compartment. This is the gas-tight barrier. This is the gas-tight barrier. This is another gas-tight barrier. This is the disconnector or isolator. And this is an earth switch. From here to here is another gas-tight compartment. Now come to this. This is one gas-tight barrier. This is another gas-tight barrier. And this is another gas-tight barrier. So this is one gas-tight compartment. This is the circuit breaker compartment. In GIS, we generally do not use a gas-insulated CT. Instead, we just place the core of the CT around the GIS compartment. So the CT core surrounds the compartment. This conductor will behave like the primary of that CT. And these are the secondary windings on the cores. Next, there is another compartment. And this compartment contains two earth switches and one disconnector. And this disconnector or isolator will isolate this circuit breaker along with the current transformer from the line or feeder. Now here you see, there are two earth switches. Now there will be another earth switch called a high-speed earth switch. This is required to discharge the trap charge of the cable very quickly. Now this is another compartment, the small one. Here. The cable heads are connected to the GIS in this compartment. This is the voltage transformer module. And this is also isolated by providing a gas-tight barrier. This is the lightning arrestor module. 